Best places to visit in Anhui Anhui is a landlocked province located in eastern China in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. Its name derives from the names of its two cities, Anqing and Weizhou, present Wangshen. Weizhou, playing a significant role in China's history and culture, makes Anhui an interesting destination to explore. Far more than that, Anhui offers many other great things to see and to do. No matter you want to immerse yourself into the beautiful mountains and rivers, or want a meaningful trip with different experiences, like hiking, photography, religion, Chinese philosophy, architecture, food, opera, etc., Anhui can meet your expectations successfully. Why visit Anhui Province? Picturesque Yellow Mountain, Yellow Mountain, also known as Mount Huang, located in Wangshen City, is not only an icon of Anhui Province, but also a symbol of Chinese landscape. In many Chinese tourist brochures, Yellow Mountain has a name. In the beautiful Yellow Mountain, you can feast your eyes on breathtaking peaks, stones, fogs, pines, etc., sacred Juha Mountain. While Yellow Mountain represents the natural beauty of China, Juha Mountain, Mount Juha, enjoys an important Buddhist status. As the ashram of Ksidagarbha Bodhisattva, it attracts many Buddhist pilgrims and travelers who are interested in Buddhism. Besides, some travelers also visit Juha Mountain after Yellow Mountain for a cultural encounter. Exquisite ancient villages in Anhui province, especially in ancient Weizhou, there are numerous elegant villages dotted with typical Wei-style buildings. The white walls and gray tiles, combining other scenery, like orange persimmons, red lanterns, or many colorful cereals, give you precious opportunities for some nice shot. Anhui Food and Tea Anhui cuisine is one of China's eight greatest cuisines and features in incorporating wild ingredients from the local mountains. Most food are cooked in perfect control of cooking time and heat. Apart from food, many high-quality tea are planted in Anhui, including Wangshen Maofeng tea, Qimen black tea, Taiping Hukui tea, rich Weizhou culture. In ancient time, Weizhou people made achievements in different fields and created lots of genres which had great influence on the whole country. Most influential Weizhou culture including Weizhou architecture, Weizhou food, Weizhou opera, Weizhou seal cutting, Weizhou commerce, Xin and rationalism, Xi'an painting, etc. Top attractions in Anhui. Number 1. Wang Shen, Yellow Mountain, most beautiful mountain in China. Yellow Mountain Facts Yellow Mountain, also Mount Wang Shen was listed as World Heritage Site in 1992. It is famous for the five wonders. Odd-shaped pines, spectacular rocky peaks, sea of clouds, hot spring and winter snow. Best time. From March to November recommended visiting hours. About two days popular activities. Hiking, photography, enjoy hot springs open hours. 6.30 to 16.30 tickets. 190 yuan per person. Excluding the cableway. Address. Wangshen District, Wangshen City, Anhui Province. 65 kilometers from Wangshen downtown area. Yellow Mountain, top national park of China Yellow Mountain, located in Anhui Province, is also known as Wangshen Mountain, Mount Huang or Mount Wangshen. It is a famous UNESCO World Heritage Site as well as one of the most visited scenic destinations in China. Praised as the loveliest mountain in China, Yellow Mountain has attracted millions of travelers to enjoy its breathtaking magical wonders, odd-shaped pines, spectacular rocky peaks, sea of clouds, hot spring and winter snow. As the popular ancient Chinese saying goes, trips to China's five great mountains render trips to other mountains unnecessary, and a trip to Wangshen renders the trips to the five great mountains unnecessary, Yellow Mountain will never disappoint any of its guests. Whenever you come, you always find visual feast landscapes to enjoy, awesome sunrise and sunset, fantastic sea of clouds and incredible rocky peaks, beautiful pine trees, pure snow. Number 2. West Sea, Shihai, Grand Canyon, the essence of Wangshen Mountain. West Sea Grand Canyon facts immerse yourself in the world of unique formations of stones, rocks and peaks, and lush pine trees in West Sea Grand Canyon. Also hike down or up along the thrilling stone steps to enjoy the breathtaking view those changes with your steps. Best Seasons, from March to November recommended visiting hours, about 1 to 7 hours popular activities, hiking, photography open hours, 24 hours, only recommended in daytime, tickets, 190 yuan per person, covered in Wangshen Mountain ticket, address, near to Peyunlu Hotel, Wangshen Mountain, Wangshen City, Anhui Province, 
65 kilometers from Wangshen downtown area is West Sea Grand Canyon visit worthwhile many people who have been to Wangshen used amazing, breathtaking, fabulous, dramatic hiking, and other flattering words to praise the beauty of West Sea Grand Canyon on Ta, TripAdvisors.com. But there are more people who agree that no word in the world can describe the beauty of the canyon exactly and fully. They are all right, if you come in a good weather day, you can see the scenery forever. West Sea Grand Canyon rewards its dear travelers with a nice contrast experience to the soaring horizons elsewhere in the mark, such as Bright Summit, Lion Peak, etc. A more intimate and dramatic experience as you walk down along the stone paths hanging on the cliffs to appreciate the beautiful peaks, pine trees, stone very closely. More importantly, you won't get bored as there always has a surprise at every turn of a corner. Highlights of West Sea Grand Canyon West Sea Grand Canyon is the perfect place to get you close to the interesting rock formations of Wanchen Mountain. It also leaves you some leisure tie to muse over things. There are many formations of stones, rock and peaks with very unique shapes, such as upside down boot, lady playing piano, dog watching sky, immortal walking on stilts, archway peak, nine dragon peak, double bamboo shoot peak, stone bed peak, stone pillar peak and pine forest peak, etc. One needs look very carefully to find those interesting formations. So a local knowledgeable guide will be very helpful if you are interested in these formations. The lush pine trees magically rooting in the crevices and on the bald surface of stone peaks will also amuse your eyes. You can't help marveling at the magic power of nature. The stone path constructed on steep cliff is the third highlight of West Sea Grand Canyon. It's no doubt a difficult, narrow and steep path, yet rewarding you fantastic views and sense of exciting adventure. It took five years to build the stone path in the canyon by hand and most old way. The works sit in the basket, and used the rope to lift them into the cliff to dig holes first, then installed pillars and flagstones step by step to build the road along the cliff. There was no damage made to the nature. The most exciting part is the left path, descending from Dispelling Cloud Pavilion of the second ring where the stone steps are completely hanging over the cliff. Number 3. Honkin Ancient Village, World Heritage Site in Anhui. Honkin Ancient Village Facts Honkin, the ancient village in Chinese paintings, is a best example of typical Anhui-style architecture. Together with Shidi, Honkin was listed as World Heritage Site in 2000. The famous Oscar film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon framed several scenes in this 900 years old village. Popular activities, hiking, photography, enjoy hot springs open hours, 730 to 1730 tickets, 104 yuan per person, valid for 3 days address, northwest corner, Yi County, Wangshen City 245,500, Anhui Province. Why visit Hongkin Ancient Village? Hongkin is the China you think of when you think of ancient China. Many of the buildings in Hongkin can date back to the Song Dynasty, AD 960-1279, and is regarded as the best example of typical Wei-style architecture. Called, the ancient village in Chinese paintings, Hongkin is so quiet, peaceful and beautiful which was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000, together with Shidi. After Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was filmed in Hongkin, more and more people get to know this ancient village. Many travelers choose to visit this beautiful village before or after the Mount Wangshen trip. History of Hongkin Hongkin Ancient Village can date back to the Southern Song Dynasty with a history of 900 years. In 1131, it was home to members of the Wang clan with 13 traditional houses at the beginning. It flourished during the Ming, AD 1368 to 1644, and Qing, AD 1644 to 1911, dynasties when it became a trade center. Most of the buildings, like South Lake Academy, Lexu Hall, Chengji Hall, Sanli Hall, Shuren Hall from this period still exit in this village today. What to see in Hongkin the moment you arrive in Hongkin, you will enjoy the charming landscape stretching before your eyes. Morning mists, grey tilts, white walls, stone bridges, water lily ponds and verdant hills in the background. It is the real Chinese painting unfolding before you. Exploring this ancient village, you are recommended to see the South Lake, Moon Pond, Chengji Hall, South Lake Academy, Dei Hall, Shuren Hall, Chengdu Hall, Jingshou Hall and Bai Garden, etc. South Lake located in the south of Hongkin, South Lake was built in the Ming Dynasty in 1607. Taking West Lake in Hangzhou as its example, 
South Lake is in the shape of an arch and the lake embankment is divided into two layers. Willow weeping, birds singing, duck playing, water lily blooming, it is very relaxing to spend some time in this area. Hence, it is called the Little West Lake at the foot of Yellow Mountain. South Lake Academy enjoys a delicious setting on the tranquil South Lake. Crescent-shaped moon pond located in the heart of Honkin, the crescent-shaped moon pond is the ox's stomach. It was built during the Ming Dynasty, AD 1368-1644. The moon pond is green all year around, like a bright mirror. During the visit here, travelers can always find senior people sitting leisurely to chat with each other, ladies doing some washing by the lake, and kids playing around. What a happy and peaceful scene. Chengji Hall Chengji Hall is the best preserved old building in Yixian County and earns a reputation as the folk forbidden city. Built in 1855, it was the residence of Wang Dingui, a wealthy salt merchant in the Qing dynasty. The whole building is in wooden structure. Wooden beams and wall panels are decorated with intricate carvings of different themes, such as natural scenery, Chinese mythology or ordinary life scenes from the Qing dynasty. Many of them are gilded in gold. Number 4. Mount Juha, Holy Buddhist Mountain for Kaesitagarbha Bodhisattva. Mount Juha Facts Mount Juha, Juhuashan, dedicated to Kaesitagarbha Bodhisattva, is one of the four sacred Buddhist mountains in China. No matter you are a Buddhist or a traveler fond of Chinese Buddhism, you can enjoy breathtaking nature scenery as well as profound Buddhist culture here. Best time. From March to November recommended visiting hours. About 1 day to 2 days open hours, 8 o'clock to 17.30 tickets, 190 yuan per person, January 16th to November 14th, 110 yuan per person, November 15th to January 15th of the next year, cableway and sightseeing bus fee excluded address, Qingyang County, Qizhou City, Anhui Province, 20 kilometers from Qizhou downtown area Mount Juha, one of the four sacred Buddhist mountains in China Mount Juha. Located at Qingyang County, Qizhou City of Anhui Province, is one of the four sacred Buddhist mountains in China, together with Mount Wutai in Shaanxi, Mount Pudou in Zhejiang and Mount Eme in Sichuan. Mount Juha is dedicated to Kaesitagarbha, Chinese pinyin, Dizang, a bodhisattva and protector of beings in hell realms according to Mahayana Buddhist tradition. This holy land is listed as National Art Tourist Attraction and reputed as Buddhist Heaven for Lotus Flowers. Traveling to Mount Juha can not only immerse in the breathtaking natural beauty, but also have deep understanding about Chinese Buddhism and Mount Juhua's profound culture. Historical and Cultural Mountain Mount Juha originally called Mount Juzi in Liang and Chen dynasties in Song dynasties. A legend says that the famous poet Li Bai in Tang dynasty came to Mount Juha several times, when he saw the shape of 99 peaks like a blossom lotus and wrote down the poem, Magic is divided into two branches, Sacred Mountain generates nine glories, Miao Yu Fen Er Qi, Ling Shan Kai Ju Wa. Hence, Mount Juzi changed into Mount Juha which has been using till today. After Li Bai, there were numerous scholars, poets and literateurs came and left great works. Even, the Emperor Kangxi in Qing Dynasty inscribed, Holy Land of Mount Juha, Ju Wa Sheng Jing. Travelers can enjoy the stories from ancient academies and other historical sites. Buddhist holy land with over 1600 years. A mountain is not famous for its height but for its holiness. In 401 AD in Eastern Jin Dynasty, the monk, Bidu, from Old India came to Mount Juha to build temples and preach Buddhism. In 719 AD, Kim Chaokyu, a Silla, today's South Korea, prince came to Juha Mountain and cultivated himself for 75 years. He died at 99 years old and his corporeal body stayed intact. Because he was very similar in appearance to Kaesitagarbha Bodhisattva, the monks here believed Kaesitagarbha Bodhisattva was reincarnated in him. Hence, Mount Juha became the place to hold rites for Kaesitagarbha Bodhisattva. Breathtaking natural scenery with 99 peaks. Juha Mountain is reputed as the first mountain in southeast China, with magnificent peaks, murdering streams, bizarre rocks, beautiful waterfalls, seclude caves, etc. Among the 99 peaks, nine famous ones are outstanding, including Tiantai Peak, Tianawang Peak, Shiwang Peak, Lianhua Peak, Dushou Peak, Luohan Peak, Wulao Peak, Fuhu Peak and Farang Peak.
and the main streams include Juha Stream, Qingtong Stream, Laba Stream, Dragon Stream, Juzi Stream, Wulong Stream, etc. Travelers can immerse yourselves with intoxication in 10 scenes of Mount Juha, and 10 new scenes of Mount Juha. Number 5. Shidi Ancient Village, World Heritage Site in Anhui. Shidi Ancient Village Facts Shidi Ancient Village, together with Honkin, was listed as World Heritage Site in 2000. Located in Yixian County in Wangshen, it has 300 ancient dwelling left from the Ming and Qing dynasties, among them, 124 are well preserved. Popular activities, hiking, photography, enjoy hot springs open hours, 8 o'clock to 1800 tickets, 104 yuan per person address, Shidi, Yi County, Wangshen City 245,500, Anhui Province. Why visit Shidi Ancient Village Shidi Ancient Village is a well-preserved and time-honored ancient village in Wangshen City. In 2000, Shidi was declared a part of the Ancient Villages in Southern Anhui World Heritage Site by UNESCO, along with Honkin Ancient Village. In Shidi Ancient Village, there are still 300 ancient dwellings left from the Ming, AD 1368-1644 and Qing, A.D. 1644 to 1911, dynasties, among them, there are 124 well preserved. Hence, it got a very beautiful name, Household in Peach Blossom Garden. History of Shidi Ancient Village Shidi is a time-honored village with a history of 960 years. It was first established in the Northern Song Dynasty, A.D. 960-1127. The village was originally called Zishuan, owning to the three streams in the village flowing from east to west. The rise of Shidi village was closely tied to the fortunes of the Hu family, who was the offspring of the Emperor Li Yi in the Tang Dynasty, AD 618-907. By 1465, during the Ming Dynasty, Hu family had made great fortune in business as merchants, and they began to build many houses, ancestral halls, pathways, and bridges there. In the middle of the 17th century, some members in Hu family sought for official careers and boosted the development of the village. From the 18th century to 19th century in the Qing dynasty, Shidi reached its highest splendor with 600 prosperous households at that time. What to see in Shidi Ancient Village Shidi Ancient Village is full of primitive simplicity and elegance. It is a typical example of Weizhou culture with exquisite three carvings architecture and cultural scenery. The main road runs in an east-west direction and is flanked by two parallel streets. Getting into the village, you'll see Lingyun Attic, Hu Wangguang's Memorial Archway, Ruyu Courtyard, Taoli Garden, East Garden, West Garden, Dafu Grand Hall, Jingai Hall, LVFU Hall, Qingyun Pavilion, Yingfu Hall, Dujing Hall, Yanggao Hall, Shangda Hall, etc. Following the road to travel from west to east and you'll explore all the essences of Shidi Ancient Village. Hu Wangguang's Memorial Archway Governor Hu Wangguang's Archway is erected at the entrance of the village and made of grey Yixian stone. Built in 1579 in the Ming Dynasty, it has a history of 400 years. It is a representative of Weizhou architecture and a treasure of Chinese stone architecture. Zuma Building, Lingyun Attic, Zuma Building, also called Lingyun Attic, was first built in the Qing dynasty in the reign of Daoguang Emperor. It was built to greet the relatives of daughter-in-law. The present Zuma building was rebuilt according to the original structure. Travelers can enjoy Wangmei Opera, toss colorful silk balls, tea ceremony and other activities here. East Garden The East Garden consists of the Cool Hall, Main Hall, and Antechamber. The Main Hall is called Haoguang Hall, used for the welcome and reception of distinguished guests. Antechamber is used to receive relatives and cool hall is for the owner to study and learn. West Garden West Garden is divided into front garden, middle garden and rear garden. Entering the garden, you'll have a feeling of entering a classical Suzhou garden with exquisite and elegant layout. The architectures, stone carvings, rockeries, fish ponds, will bring you a taste of Wei-style culture attractions around Shidi Village Honkin Ancient Village Honkin Ancient Village with a history of 900 years, is called an ancient village in Chinese paintings. Together with Shidi, Honkin was listed as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. The famous Oscar film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon framed several scenes in Honkin. The main sites include South Lake, South Lake Academy, Crescent-shaped Moon Pond, Chengji Hall, Jingda Hall, Lexu Hall, etc.
It needs about three to four hours to visit Hongkin Ancient Village. Yellow Mountain, Mount Wang Shen, Yellow Mountain, also called Mount Wang Shen or Wang Shen Mountain, was listed as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. It is famous for the five wonders, odd-shaped pines, spectacular rocky peaks, sea of clouds, hot spring and winter snow. A visit to Yellow Mountain, you can also catch the best chance to watch sunrise, sunglow and sunset. Immerse yourselves in the fascinating scenery by exploring Beginning to Believe Peak, Black Tiger Pine, Refreshing Terrace, Stone Monkey Watching the Sea, Lion Peak, Purple Cloud Peak, Flying Over Rock, Bright Summit, Shihai Grand Canyon, etc.